We're doing an opening video. Kelly still won't talk to me from Monday's video. I don't blame her. I hit her pretty hard. No excuse to hit portraits. You think this is the last time I'll spin around? Yeah. No, I was just kidding. If you're new here, hi. That's Kelly. Every week we donate whatever we make in ad revenue on Facebook and YouTube and we donate it to charities of y'all's choice. From the description below, I gather information and from thine description below and from thine ad revenue, we pay forward to thine charities, okay? I will cut that out of the video. This week we are donating everything that we make to the Special Olympics. So for next week, make sure you comment down below uh, your favorite charity that we should donate to next week. The winner of last week's giveaway was announced on the newsletter. If you're not signed up to the newsletter, uh, you should because you get automatically entered in to win all other giveaways. I put the link in the description as well. Also, one last thing, I have a brand new camera, okay? Things I can do, I can focus on the background and make me blurry. I can focus on my face and make the background blurry, blurry okay? Words and stuff. I'm not cutting that out. Obviously, I have not edited this video yet. Okay, so I don't know if the audio is going to be horrible. I don't know if the video quality is going to be horrible. I don't even know if I'm recording right now. Just a heads up, if you hear weird noises, or if the camera shuts off randomly, or if my phone rings while I'm recording. Is that my heater kicking on? Okay, this first thing. I got a really awesome drawing, little heart, from Isabella. Love that name. It says Giardizus on it. I love it. To me. Isabella, I think that is gorgeous. I will hang that up on my wall. Ooh, I have an idea to get like a gigantic cork board. I guess putting my hands out of frame doesn't show you the real height of it. A gigantic cork board. <laughs> putting it on one of the walls and like all the little paintings y'all do, all the drawings, I'll pin them up. And I had this idea to print out, physically print out my favorite comment from every day's video. Print it out, cut it out, and then pin it to the cork board. Cool, huh? That's a cool idea. And then I got a note, which I will not read to you because this is personal. I think I'm getting the name right. Tempa and Isabel. They both wrote me a note. They made these. Look at these. <laughs> Tiny little hats. I have plenty of Bob Rosses that might be cold, so I'll put them on my little bob. A little punicorn. These are like... I think they painted these. I can't be sure. Um, like stained glass ornaments. Tempa, Isabella. Thank y'all so much. I love it. This is from Joanne Mead. And they're perfect, okay? Because I'm always licking my lips. It's those little eggs. The eggs that um, de-chap your lips. What are chapsticks? Lip gloss? I don't know. Which one do I want? You're right. I do want silver. Joanne, you know me so well. That's fine. You don't even have to focus on it. Watch this, though. Boop. Oh, there you go. Oh, Lord. Now focus back on my face. Every time I put chapstick on, I lick it off because I want to taste what it tastes like. Joanne, thank you so much. I will use all of these. This gift is from Brittany Thomas, and I love it. I'm learning how to, there we go. <laughs> learning how to focus on things. It's so, it's toast. I want to like put these in my, when people come to visit, put these in my bathtub, kind of like a, I'm a hotel, but the only amenities I, I give out are Bob Ross soaps and shampoos. Thank you, Brittany. You have put me one step closer to being a Bob Ross hotel. This is from Tracy Mongan. I still don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm gonna say it the way I've been saying it. Tracy Mongan. Is that say hippie artist minifigure? It's a little Bob Ross, but Autumn likes these things. I like these things, but Autumn will steal it. 100% real Lego parts. There's a big epidemic with them fakes and 99% Lego parts. I can't stand those. This is from Amanda and it's amazing. First off, it comes with the little wax seal. And it's a bunch of cool Harry Potter stuff. I got a Marauder's Map bookmark or ornament. I'll probably put it on the tree anyway. I got my ticket to paradise. Oh, look at that. Look how crisp that picture is. Platform, nine and three quarters. I've been telling everybody that I'm a Ravenclaw, okay? But I, did, I didn't have any proof, okay? I didn't have any certification until today. That's how I get things to go and focus. You jam them at the camera and then pull them back. Seems to work. 
Told you. And then I have the actual paperwork. Just in case y'all didn't believe me that I went to Hogwarts, that I've been accepted, okay? From Dumbledore himself, okay? Handwritten. Pretty sure. Thank you, Amanda. I love it. This is from Courtney Larson, and she just likes to send me tiny things, tiny little things. The last thing she sent me was a tiny little light bulb. And I thought that was adorable. But then she sent me these. Oh no. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so unprepared. These are um, salt and vinegar crickets. I gotta admit, I'm not a fan of salt and vinegar. Sour cream and onion crickets, now we're talking. And then bacon and cheese crickets. How'd you find all these flavored crickets? Every cricket I see, I, I can barely tell just by looking at it what flavor it is. Thank you for these. I'll probably do a video on these or I'll accidentally lose them and never have to try them. I'll do a video. Um, oh, ooh, just looking at them, creeping me out. Thank you, Courtney. I mean, I love them. This one, I couldn't really tell who it was from. It didn't come with a note, but um, on the packing slip it said Tom, K-Y-N-C-Y, and that's all I'm getting out of that. I don't know if this is actually from Tom or who this is from, but it's fantastic. I love it, and there's a bug on it. Y'all ready? <laughs> it's a cat playing the guitar. I think it's like a, a mat for outside, which I'm going to go put out right now. I have a door that goes out to my porch out here where I like to collect stray cats, all the bougie ones. I'm thinking about putting it out there. That way the stray cats know I mean business. It looks like an indoor mat, so I'll probably keep it inside. But whoever sent me the amazing cat playing guitar, I love it. Tom, if this was you, you dirty dog, I love it. This one's from Tasha, and she said, since my run-in with the car spider, this would give me practice to get away correctly. Yellies. It's a little spider, I guess, depending on how loud you yell, is the faster they go. The louder you yell, the faster they go. I can read stuff sometimes. And I also got this. It's a unicorn um, rainbow little mug holder thing. Mug holder? Cup holder. with. I don't know. Tasha, thank you so much. Um, that's going to help with my escape plan. I have all winter to prepare, and then once summer comes around, I should be ready, okay? This next gift is from Donna Reynolds, which, like I mentioned before, I opened one thing, and literally, back to back, I opened another one. <laughs> little Yelly. So I have an army of little Yellies, and I plan on screaming pretty loud in my apartment. If you watched Monday's video, where I was playing that scary game, Emily. Maybe eventually I'll put all these on the desk and then play that game again, see how fast these things go. Thank you, Donna. This one is from Jennifer Bowman, and it's a whole bunch of Harry Potter characters in there. I haven't opened it yet. They're ornaments. I think there's, whether or not there's string in there, they have like little hooks at the top of their head so I can hang them up. These are awesome, thank you so much. I apologize if these are not all together. This one is from Lisa, and I love it. Little Bob Ross sticky notes. I love these. Aww. Thank you, Lisa. This one came with a note, but not a name. I don't know if it's part of another gift, but how teachers swear. It's a coloring book, and they said Giardiza should be in here for sure. Oh, for Pete's sake, shut the front door. Giardizus is my go-to. Whoever got me this, thank you so much. Um, I will adopt the majority of these. This is definitely unique. Thank you so much. I can't wait to start saying some of these. Son of a Baptist. This next gift is amazing. Super sentimental. Very close to my heart. Close to his as well. Jared Size sent me um, this coin. On the back, it has the EMS prayer, if I can focus on it. Jared is a paramedic. He collects coins, and this was one of the first um, challenge coins he collected, I believe, is what he said. And he carried it with him every single time he went and did a job to basically remind him that he was put in an ambulance to save lives, which I love the meaning behind it and th that this was from his personal collection. So I love... This, I used to collect coins when I was younger, and he sent it to me saying that, to remind me that I was put on this planet to make people laugh, which that means a lot, it really does. Jared, I'm super thankful for the coin, super thankful, I love the letter. Um, I will put this somewhere safe. I appreciate it, and I appreciate everything that you do being a paramedic. Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it. These are from 
David Stone. Really unique <laughs> ornaments. I don't know if this is an ornament. This is an ornament. I'll make this into an ornament. Somehow. These are rats. This is a tree. Probably from the video Rats in the Trees. I love the reference. Nobody's actually sent me anything made from Rats in the Trees from that video. I love that. And I love this. Y'all did a great job. I'll put these up on the tree after this video. David does construction and landscape and he sent me his card. I can now focus on cards because I am big time now. A nail here and a nail there. I love that. David, thank you so much. This didn't come with a note. I believe this came with the Mewtwo wallet. I could be wrong. It's a Mewtwo stocking, which I will put up probably right in the middle. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love Mewtwo so much. I'm gonna hang him, her, it up over there. This is from Finn Ryder and I love it. I love it so much. Being a huge fan of Dream Theater, I can't believe I don't have one of these yet, but it's a sticker. This is the Dream Theater symbol. Dream Theater is my favorite band of all time. How do I get to it? I want it. I love it. Dream Theater. If you like progressive rock, check them out. Thank you, Finn. I think this one is from Davina. I've tried to read the packaging, but I think it was sent from China or somewhere. So it was kind of hard to figure out who it was from exactly, but it's a bunch of, let me open them. The cutest little plushies you've ever seen. <laughs> I think it's a unicorn cat. Kitty corn, a little kitty corn. Focus on the kitty corn. There it is, kitty corn. I think it's a Deadpool Pikachu, which is adorable. The minute Autumn sees this, she's gonna steal it. That's fine. Because I have also, a Mewtwo. Oh, this is cool. This is the first Mewtwo plushie that I got. What am I looking at? I love it. Don't tilt your head at me. You correct that sass right now. Davina, I think, I hope. Thank you so much. Autumn is gonna freak out with that little peek. I'm not even gonna tell her. She'll find it. She always does. What could it be? Oh, <gasps> look at that. String lights, I think. LED novelty string lights. From who? Oh, they're little sp Spiders. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cause I love spiders. Everyone knows it. It is a fact. Can you see them? It's cause they're not on. You need batteries and I don't have any right now. I do somewhere. It's not in my possession. Next gift. Thank you. Whoever sent that. I love it. Purple spiders. I love them. Mixing two of my favorite things. Purple. This is from Kim Pulliam. <gasps> Purple pins. Ooh, hello, sir. You know the pen's fancy when you have to peel off a perforated plastic. You don't have to, you don't have to focus on that. That's fine. What if the pen were talking? <laughs> nope, still me? Okay. The pens are nice. What is this? Uh -huh. Orange chocolate? You better focus on that orange chocolate. There we go. We're learning. And she sent me uh, like a whole bunch of handmade stuff. She's a crafty little duder. Ooh, what in the world? Handmade by Kim and Allison Pulliam in Kentucky. Look at that, there we go. Look at that, tree themed gift tags. Unfocused and focused, love those. Well that just goes on forever, doesn't it? Oh wow, look at that. A little ornament house, a little blurry ornament house. You know what? This is gonna be the most aggravated. Is that Santa's face? Wood ornament. I think they said this was from um, an actual tree, cedar? I don't know, from their backyard. Another awesome wood ornament. Oh wow, that one's heavy duty. Almost broken duty, almost broke the whole duder. Got a little tree ornament. Kim, Allison, Pulliam, thank y'all for the amazing handmade ornaments. I love them. My tree's gonna love them too. Thank y'all so much. Oh, purple pens. What's the next gift? We don't know, I haven't opened it yet. It's probably blurry. Oh, look, that's the first little poodle dogs we got that are white. Cute as a button, a cute button of course. There's ugly buttons out there. Let's not play ourselves. These are not ornaments, I'm just figuring out. These are in fact salt and pepper shakers or tiny little piggy banks if you were storing salt and pepper. I was gonna put these on the tree, but now I'm gonna fill them with salt and pepper. 
and then put them on the tree. These are from Teresa Alexander. Teresa got me this. It's one of the puzzles. I did one of these, I think I put it in a leftovers because um, it took me 40 minutes to get them apart and then I couldn't figure out how to put them back together again. Um, such as Humpty Dumpty, but I'll probably do a video on this one. It's a level six, which I think is the hardest. I love that. I love little puzzles. Thank you, Teresa. I haven't done a puzzle in a long time. I might film that today. You don't know. I don't know. No one knows. Am I blurry? I don't know. It's Bob as Deadpool. Dead Bob. Pool Bob. Deadpool as Bob Ross. Or Bob Ross as Deadpool. Whichever. Merry Christmas to you, Terry Barnes. It's Christmas somewhere. Terry, thank you so much. I will add him to my collection. You know what? I'm going to put him over here. I have no Bob Ross figurines over on this side. I've been neglecting this side. No more. This is from Trish. Trish Miller. <gasps> Hello. What is this? Putty thinking. Grease. I'm reading it backwards. Crazy geezers thinking putty. It says magnetic. I don't know what that means. We're gonna find out. Wow. What is... Nah. <laughs> oh. We're gonna have fun with this. I don't know how, but we are. This is handmade. By her hand. <laughs> Look at that. This is the biggest painted rock I've ever gotten. Nine and three quarters. That's Harry Potter. Art by Trish. Look at that. Put it with my other rocks. I love that I have a painted rock collection. What? Look at this. Look at that ornament. I want to say it's an ice cream cone because I want to be right. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's super cool. Is that handmade? There's something. Oh, headband. Oh, pot holder. Pot sticker. I love pot stickers. And then this. Oh dear. Oh dear, Jesus. Focus. Focus. Oh dear. Ornament. Oh, is that a little coffee mug? It is. <laughs> or a cauldron filled with. Mud. These are from Ashley Nelson. Ashley, thank you. She made all these. Thank you so much for making me these little Christmas ornaments. To anybody asking why I still have two Christmas trees up, because people are sending me the most amazing ornaments, salt and pepper shaker ornaments. It'd be a shame that they didn't get the limelight or the lemon light. This isn't an ornament, but I'm going to put it in the tree. Focus on my fight. These are from Tammy and Jocelyn Elderkin. Elderkin. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff. They're from Boston. They got me this incredible looking mug. Look at that Boston mug. That thing's huge. Don't mind those. Boston baked beans. A Massachusetts magnet. Super cool. Jocelyn made me a beautiful photograph. Look at that. It focused instantly. That's how good it is. I love that. It reminds me of rats in the trees. I love that. Andy's mints. Except these are bacon chips, okay? Not bacon, but baking. Baking chips. I can put these in cookies. I could eat these straight out of the bag. I can do whatever I want. I'm a full grown adult. They got me this cool shirt. The Warriors. Growing up when I lived in Arkansas, our our school name was The Warriors. Just saying. Just trying to create connections here. And then, oh yeah, all these things, uh, they, they put them in here. But I've already celebrated. They got another one for me and Autumn. This cute little toy for Autumn, which I'll put on the tree and she'll find and steal. And then a whole bunch of cool Harry Potter candies, the frogs and then the jelly beans. And then they sent me this, which is, I'm assuming a map to some sort of treasure. The treasure's there, okay? Going to Bristol County. Tammy, Jocelyn, thank y'all so much for the amazing gifts. Yes, I said amazing, spelt with an E. I love them all. If I'm ever out that way, I'll come visit you. I'll bake cookies with the Andes mints. Me and Jocelyn can color. This is from Jessica Sizemore. Jessica, I already opened it. I read the note. You're an amazing person. I love all of y'all who send me notes telling me about your life. And can you take me seriously with these on? A lot of the things that I get in the letters are, I know you probably get thousands of these and you don't care, but I want to tell you something. I do. I do get thousands of them. I get thousands of notes, but I read all of them and I love them. I want to learn about y'all and I love to hear which video you like the best. 
Don't ever take that out of the letter. I love it. Jessica got me. She watched the magic trick where I stuck the card in the ceiling by accident, where I said I collect cards, and she got me these amazing cards. Are they called stargazers? I love, I've never seen these stargazer cards. Her bachelor's degree is in astrophysics. That's why she picked the stargazer cards. I haven't looked at them yet. I have opened them, but I have not looked. I figured we could look at them together as like a family. Oh. I love that. Look at that. They're purple. They're blurry purple. Look at those. What? These are so cool. I definitely will not be throwing these into fruit. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you for the letter, and thank you for these. This is from Debbie Preston. She got me probably the coolest, literally, Bob Ross shirt. Look at him. Look at old Bob chilling and relaxing all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside the school. Are those Beats, Bob? Beats by Bob. Thank you, Debbie. I love me some Bob with some sunglasses and Beats. If I've ever opened a time-sensitive uh, box, it, it would be this one. Um, it's from Sierra, who lives in Alaska. North Pole, actually. <laughs> Which is where I lived. So she sent me a bunch of Alaska stuff. Good night, Alaska. Which is cool. I've been on the cruise ship. Got seasick and all that good stuff. Got this sweet Alaska t-shirt. Not gonna lie. It's really cool. And then, smoked salmon. A whole box of smoked salmon. Um, this box has been sitting here since November. I should be good, right? It's vacuum sealed, fully cooked, refrigerate after opening. Continue to send me smoked salmon if I don't have to worry about it being refrigerated till I open it. Sierra, thank you so much. I'm super jelly that you live in Alaska, but you're probably super jelly that I have this cool Alaska t-shirt. Thank you so much. Kelly, you wanna look at the shirt? These are from Nikki Davis, who has uh, shops and YouTube channels and Facebook and Etsy's and all that good stuff, which I'll show you in a bit. Ravenclaw. That's the colors from the book, not from the movie. I love that she made that. Harry Potter, unfocused. The stones, I love that. I have one, but in wood, nine and three quarters. What are these? What are they called when it has that back? And then she made, um, like magnets. Deuter and Geodesis. Little fridge magnets, which are awesome. I love little fridge magnets. I've been putting everything on my fridge. She has a website, which I can now focus on. Crafts by Cricket, this is her Facebook. Her Etsy shop is Crafts by Lady Cricket. If you're interested in anything like this, Go check her out. Support a duder. Nikki, thank you so much. I'll hang these up on the tree and then I'll plop these duders on my fridge. And I'll use this as a bookmark. This is from Stephanie Love Green. Stephanie, I am Brandon Love Purple. Got this. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter, um, it's like Legos, but you build it, the tiny little characters. And Hedwig, look at that, the little owl. I have a fascination with owls currently because of the the docuseries The Staircase that I watched on Hulu. Watch it, you'll understand what I mean. Love this, I have not gotten this one yet. These are from Holly. She got me a Harry Potter puzzle. It's a hundred piece puzzle. It says large pieces, how'd you fit a hundred pieces in there? We'll find out, we'll build that. A measuring cup, that's actually super needed because I've been baking a lot lately. <gasps> I love Reese's. These are really good. Oh, I've never had the one with the pieces in it. And then she wanted to get me something that no one's made me. And she did. Tiny little snowflakes handmade by paper, which I will go disperse evenly upon my tree. Thank you, Holly. And then I got this super, super cool package from Susan Stump. Um, she's a writer. And she sent me and Gloria an autographed copy of her book. And she said if we ever wanted to do the Duder book club thing that we were talking about, we could start with this book, which I think is a great idea. We could take one of the books that our Duder community wrote, written, wrote it, I don't know, and then do a book club about that book and then just go through Duder community books. That's a great idea. But there's also a whole bunch of goodies in here. Look at all these. All these bookmarks. Uh, she has a business card. If you want to check it out, if you want to get one of the books yourself, Susan Stump. There's really cool like um, pendants and necklaces. These things, super cool. Tiny, tiny little book fridge magnets. I'm assuming they're fridge magnets because that's where I'm going to put them. Oh, look at that guy. Handsome. These things, just a whole bunch of them. Look at all these little book magnets. I love it. Susan, 
I will definitely read your book. And if we ever do a book club, we will read a Duder book from the Duder community. You Duder hear me? 